Hi, Amber. I know you're here. How does it sound? Does it sound okay? Because I literally didn't do anything other than hit stop streaming and then go live again. So. If it doesn't sound right, I'm going to throw stuff. Let us know. <laughs> How does it sound? Let us know if it sounds good. I see Tina, too. Sounds great. Ah, yay! yay! Okay, wait. Hooray! Before we go live, put the disclaimer back up. That way this ah! Ah! And we're back. Okay. Haha, <laughs> yeah we are. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to be playful because that sucked. All right, guys. For those who are watching this because I deleted the other stream, we tried to do this stream uh, 30 minutes ago, and it failed miserably because for some reason we sounded like wet grandpas. But we are back. If wet it, grandpas. If it, I hate that so much. If at any point we sound like a wet grandpa again during this stream, be sure to let us know. But it sounds like we're doing okay. So today we're going to move right along and keep this stream rolling because we've already wasted enough time. Yeah, I got stuff to do today. Today we're going to talk about tariff codes, which as of July 1st, if you're shipping to or within the EU, the European Union, you have to have them on your packing labels. You have to. Otherwise, those packages aren't going to make it to your customers. So mm -hmm. they are very, very important. Uh, and it, it can be a little bit confusing. So today we're going to teach you exactly how we recommend you find them, the process that we're using to look for them. And uh, maybe we'll do a couple live examples where you guys can give us some of your products and we'll try to find the tariff codes for you. Now, uh -huh. quick disclaimer, Mark and I are not legal experts. Everything that we do is completely on the fly today. So make sure that you're also double checking these tariff codes yourself. Yep. Quick disclaimer. There it is. <laughs> and if you need to read that again, just zip to the front of the video. <laughs> he, he likes his new little... I love it. I, I've had my stream deck forever, but I've never been able to use it for YouTube because we've been using Wirecast, and it sucked. All right, guys. So your tariff code is a six-digit code. It will look something like number, 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 dot, number, number. And there are also eight and ten-digit codes, but you only need six for your... Etsy shipping labels. That's all you're going to need. Um, also make sure that if you're using something like Pirate Ship that you are incorporating in these tariff codes, even if you're not prompted to do so, there will be places where you need to type them in. Even if they're not bugging you to do it, you still have to. So please don't forget this step. Yep. Um, this code is basically a universal system that's going to tell the customs officers exactly what's in your package. Now, if you were to have typed it out like how we used to on our, I mean, you still are asked when you're typing. Don't, you know. don't put in your products yet. We're not doing this for a few minutes. Yeah, not yet. Um, when, when you are, uh, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> when you are um, t filling out your shipping labels, you're going to see the area where you type in what's inside the package. And that'll make a lot of sense if the person can, you know, assuming that you're from an English speaking country, if the if the package is going somewhere where those customs officials also speak English. Also speak English, but if not, they're not going to understand what's in it. They need something that they can quickly glance at. And what your tariff number is is a universal code that's going to basically tell them no matter where they are, it's going to tell them exactly what's in your package because this is a database that every single country is going to use. Yep. All of our numbers for every type of product that we could put in them are going to be the same. So it, it just makes things a lot easier. Um, and, and this is one of those things, like I said previously, you have to do this. It's not something that you get to pick to do. If you don't do it, your package might go missing. It'll likely return back in your mailbox. Uh, Etsy had stated that it would, that there was a risk of delays. But in all cases I've seen, because apparently there were a lot of packages that got sent back even before July 1st, yeah. they're not delaying packages. They're just sending them back. They, they seem to not even want to let things pass through if the tariff codes aren't incorporated. So these are really important. And there's always that risk that other countries will incorporate in something, you know, similar as well. So just stating that, you know, oh, I'm just going to stop shipping to the European Union. 
That's not a good idea. No. Nope. For one, you're cutting out a huge demographic of people who could be potential customers, therefore, you know, possibly leaving thousands of dollars on the table. Uh, for two, there's a chance that you're going to have to learn this stuff anyway if any other countries decide to incorporate in a similar system. So it's better to just get it out of the way. It's not that hard. I know it sounds scary, but it's actually pretty easy. And today we're going to show you exactly how yeah. easy it is. I mean, it's an, it's an it can be infuriating. It really yeah. can because you, you do got to use your brain a little bit. Yeah. And that's understandable. Um, so for the six-digit code, the first two digits of that code are going to tell the customs officials what type of product it is. Is it clothing? Is it paper? Is it, um, I don't know, ceramic? Bamboo. Bamboo. Uh, well, that would be more in the materials, I think. But yeah, whatever. Is it a chess board? Whatever type of product that it is. And then the second two digits are going to be more specific. So if you've you know, the first two digits are clothing. The second two digits might specify that it's men's pants. And then the uh, last two digits are going to tell them what the products are made of. So maybe it is clothing, it is men's pants, and they are silk. That would be your six-digit code. Like I said, there are, there are some uh, codes that are longer than six, but you only need six for your Etsy listings. Mm -hmm. Um so it's going to right now right yeah as of right now so this code is going to look like number 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 dot number number yes um my recommendation is to make a list of your most commonly used tariff codes because otherwise you're going to have to look them up over and over i would again. get yourself a text document because i mean board. like if you if you have like 15 men's shirts and 15 women's shirts that's two codes exactly like, that's across the board it's two codes as long as they're all made of the same thing Exactly. Um, and, and for most of us, we'll be able to use the same codes over and over again, unless you have a shop that has a lot of different types of products. Now, keep in mind that, you know, if, if your products are like kitchen wall art and nursery wall decor, it's very likely that it's going to be the same code because down to its components, what it's made of, it's going to be the same. You don't have to be that specific. Um, so make a list of the most commonly used tariff codes that you have. I would recommend making a Trello board, categorizing each of the cards as what the products are. Maybe you have a card for shirts and then you have all your tariff codes. Maybe you have one for mugs and you have all your tariff codes, yada, yada. Um, and no matter who you ship with, just make sure that you're filling these out because I don't know what the other shipping platforms are going to be like, like pirate ship. If, yeah, if I have no idea. I don't know if they're going to prompt you. Um, and I will say that Etsy is working on a system that will be able to read your categories. Uh, I don't know if it'll go as far as reading your descriptions. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. But it's probably going to take some time. Yeah, it's going to read, I think, probably your materials, the attributes that you filled out, and it's going to try to recommend tariff code yeah. for you which would be really great. But in the meantime, you have to look them up yourself. I would also say that even with them doing that, you should still get used to figuring out what your codes are anyway, because this is complicated and there are a ton of different numbers that are very similar for all different kinds of products. And it could just be one little thing that makes it one code versus another code. And Etsy's not going to be perfect. I can almost guarantee you that it's going to be all kind of buggy from the start. So you need to get used to doing this anyway. Yeah. Um, let's see. You want to grab Yeah, some... we'll grab a, grab a couple questions first. And, and then we'll screen something. share. I just came on here for the stream at one. Did I miss something? Nope. Not nope. really. Just explaining what the tariff codes were. Yeah. Uh, let's go up a little bit. codes are not new for me i've been needing them for a long time already yeah. yeah a lot of and you know we've been able to enter them into our shipping labels forever uh they i know that a lot of people just didn't because they weren't re required i guess all right i had a couple of people saying their tariff codes do i need to include a tariff code when sending packages from the uk to the u.s i'd say if it mm. asks for a tariff code you have to include it um it's within the uk if it's going, or no, not in the UK. If it's going into the EU, I'm sorry. Um, 
UK to US should be fine. If you want to put it in there, you will be prompted to. You totally can. It's it would be it's probably a good idea to do it. But to right now, it's just packages that are going to the EU and packages shipped within the EU. UK to US, you there shouldn't be any issues if you don't add it, but it never hurts because there is a space in your shipping label that will prompt you to do so. So yes, might as well. Might as well. It won't hurt. And if you're shipping from the U.S. to the EU, you will probably have to do these two. So just Michelle. keep that in mind. Uh, can you talk about phone numbers that shipping carriers now require? Um, no, I'm not. I'm not familiar. <laughs> we're, we're not. We're not familiar. I haven't. I haven't seen that. But thing is, here. Here's the deal. If if a carrier says they require something to legally ship your product, you're not going to argue your way out of it. So it's just something you're going to have to do or not ship with that carrier. Yeah, that's it's it's most things like this with government stuff. It's cut and dry. You can either get yourself a uh, a business phone, which is what I would do. Or, get yourself a Google phone number. Uh, well, I was gonna say get yourself a primary business phone or set your up self up a Google Voice phone yep. number, which will go to your normal phone, but it won't have your real phone yeah. number. I mean, it's as easy as go go to Walmart, get yourself a burner, get yourself a burner phone for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever it is with a SIM card, put like a hundred minutes on it and call that your business phone. Yeah. And I mean, if you lose it, you break it, whatever, you're out, what, 30, 40 bucks. It's, it's better than having to pay for like a $50 a month subscription. Just get yourself a burner phone. Yeah. Uh, bu- 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 uh, do, do, do. Canada's oh. welfare phone numbers. What? A pirate ship does prompt you and won't let you print the label without the code. That's there great. You go. In the UK, men's pants is underwear, whereas in the UK, it's trousers. Likewise, thong in the UK mm-hmm. means string knickers. In Australia, flip flops. Any idea how the system will deal with this? You're gonna have to just kind of use your head a little bit and search around and yeah, you know. search around. Amber commented and said like she sells greeting cards. Hers don't come under greeting cards; they come under paper or pulp products. So yeah. you, you've gotta you've gotta kind of think outside the box. Like somebody. Uh, earlier asked for gemstones. Are you selling gemstones specifically or products that contain gemstones? Because those are two totally different things. And we would have to know exactly what type. And exactly, so, yeah, exactly what type of gemstone. Which, well, not really, because usually they categorize, we'll get into that once we actually get into the things. Yeah. They usually categorize things, like with metals, it's precious metals or non-precious metals. And then if you select precious metals, it's either silver or not silver. Like, it's really it's really not that complicated. It's It looks like it, but it's really not. Um, I guess they're just answering questions until one, and that's why they'll and they'll want to get into the nitty gritty. Yeah, we'll get we'll get into it. Relax. We got this. We got this. We're doing Sorry. the best. See, we do, this doesn't even apply to us for like ninety nine percent of what we do. So we're just doing this to be fun. And again, like we had in the in the disclaimer there, <laughs> we're not legal professionals. Please take everything we say with a grain of salt. We could be wrong about some of these things. I think and they're more saying that we said we'd start I know, I'm still just, because we're about to start it, I, I encourage you to do your own research if you disagree. Yeah. Instead of any, like, I know there's going to be at least one person that's going to, well, actually, me in the, in, the, in the thing down below, just do your own research and don't bother. We're trying our best. What if several items made from different materials? Then you're going to need different codes for... Per product. Depending, unless they're like similar products. Like if you make all of your products out of like paper pulp, then they're all going to fall under paper pulp products. Have you started? We're here. We're here. (laughs) Uh... Question. If you use drop shipping and set your options to free shipping, would I have to do anything on my end to my shipping profiles? I've created shipping profiles for my own for these listings. Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. If you use drop shipping and you set your options to free shipping, would I have to do anything on my end to the shipping profiles? Um, you'll. Ha- I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I would have to be looking at it. I... I guess go look and do our within your I'm not sure <laughs> yeah we don't we don't really do drop shipping so no bad vibes just making sure oh no no we didn't think there's any bad vibes sorry if it's a little awkward we got her computer off over here and it is dead silent down in this basement there is like not we're underground there is no noise down here at all and it's it's yeah. eerie. It's okay, let's go ahead and move over to the screen share. Starla's a little low on energy today. 
I'm not low on energy. I am in shock from the chaos that took place before we started She doesn't this handle stress like I do. I'm a performing musician. Everything goes wrong when I perform. Yeah, my anxiety is through the roof <laughs> after that. And you guys won't even be able to see it because I went and deleted all evidence of that video. It is gone. Yeah, except for the one person that the DVRs it or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that there's a couple people who can access it. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. You got all these. Huh? You got all those. You, you got I know. I mean, they got oh. a couple of people that had already asked for it. Okay, so we're going to go through and do a couple of different little codes here. Yeah, so Let's guys. Go ahead and screen share. Let me know if you can hear us, see us, okay? Okay, so let me have this. Um, okay. Guys, what we want you to do, and please listen to the directions. What we want you to do is tell us what you sell, but please do not say, I sell nursery wall art. I don't want to know that. If you sell a wood sign made out of oak, I don't care what's on it. I don't care if it says happy birthday. I don't care if it says baby. I don't care what it says. I need you to tell me what you sell and what it's made out of. If you sell, you know, bridesmaid t-shirts, I just want to know that you sell women's t-shirts made of cotton. Mm -hmm. um, if you sell jump Specific. Yeah this this isn't this isn't they don't care what's on your t-shirts they like, just want like that charlie gemstone jewelry doesn't really tell me anything what kind of oh there you go moldavite yeah. and sterling silver necklace is it real sterling silver or plated or plated yeah we need to know that as well it's got to be specific you, you really have to kind of dumb your product down into like a, a very a silly amount yeah Okay, so while you guys are giving us a couple examples, these links are down in the description below. There are three websites that we recommend. There were four listed in Etsy's article about tariff codes. That's linked down below. One of them is so ridiculous that we just completely omitted it from the list altogether because it is impossible to use. Our favorite is the United States Census Bureau. It doesn't matter if you're in the United States. This is the easiest one to use. You can access this no matter where in the world you are, and the codes will be the same, okay? So this is the one that I recommend you start with no matter where you are. And then once you find it in the United States Census Bureau, I recommend you double-checking it in the Harmonize Tariff Schedule website also linked down below. This one is a lot more specific. It's got a lot more information, but it's a little bit harder to use. So start with the one that's easier to use, double check it here. And then lastly, we recommend doing a triple check over on uh, gov.uk. This one is my least favorite to use, but it's good to double check. And one thing that we did notice is that there were a couple very specific cases where the answer that we got from the United States was different than the code that we got from the UK. Mm -hmm. So what we recommend doing is if you notice just a very slight variant in your numbers, go with whichever one you live in. And if you don't live in either yeah. of them, if you live somewhere else, then and go whichever one you think is going to be correct. This is an EU thing. Um, I don't think the US will adopt this fully, but more than likely the EU and UK websites are going to be more up to date, more recent, and more accurate than the ones from the US are going to be. However, the ones from the EU are a lot more difficult to use right out of the gate. The one, the U.S. Census is the easiest one that I've found to actually find what you're looking for. Yeah. So I would start with the census, move o track. move over with the harmonized tariff schedule, and if you want to be extra, if you go ahead and click that, and you want to be extra careful, also look it up on here. Okay. And these are all listed down below. So if you want to write them, like maybe like put star a star beside the census bureau one just so you know if you're writing them down which one you should focus on first this is the order of importance so go ahead and click on the census bureau one yeah. and uh, we will and then pick. uh eastern inspiration as are the codes the same across the es and eu they're the same for the in entire any chance you can make it bigger mark yeah I'll, i can do, do, do. there we go so they there should be the same tired eyes and if you notice that they're not the same, you might want to do a little bit more investigating. But what we're trying to find is the exact same code across all, because this is a universal code that should be, it should lead to the same product no matter where in the world right. you are. Right. So we had a, we had several people that did uh, jewelry. So we'll just start off. 
best to like start as basic as possible with the description of your product and work your way up if you can't find what you're looking for. So we have, have people saying, yes, pure 925 sterling silver jewelry. So we'll so do jewelry. jewelry. Okay. Bangle or other. We'll click other. We'll click other. Okay. Now, does anybody know, I don't, I don't know offhand, is sterling silver considered a base metal or a precious metal? Because 925 sterling, that means it's 92.5% silver, right? So would you consider that a precious metal or a base metal? Let me know if anybody actually knows. Can because you it's... hover over the asterisk? Does that give you more? Precious metal means silver, gold, and platinum. However, silver might not necessarily be cons or sterling silver might not necessarily be included in that. All right, so base metals, iron and steel, copper, nickel, aluminum, lead, zinc, tungsten, molybdenum, blah, 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 blah. And guys, if you make costume jewelry with charms and things, base metal is the one that you're probably going to want. Yeah, if you're if you're the kind of person that does the kind of piecing together of different charm articles, bracelets. charm bracelets and stuff like that, and you don't, you're not quite sure what the metals are, it's probably base metal. So we're... Or, precious. Or, oh, she said precious. Okay. Well, cool thing is you can always go back. So precious metal. So we don't see. Here's the thing. It's technically both as use, but it's classified as precious. So now this is where it gets into the like iffy. I'm not sure category, but it probably won't matter. We're gonna go ahead and select silver. Okay. So we have our our category here, and this is like typical government bullcrap that they're doing here. For some reason, they're displaying this as this this with the dot in the middle, and they don't display it like that anywhere else. This is just like the base schedule. So the first four digits, you'll see it's the exact same down here. So for us, it doesn't even really matter whether or not it's silver or other than silver. It's going to be this right here, 71, 13, 11. You ignore the, the dot zero, 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 zero. Yeah, you don't you, need you don't, that. You don't need this. Etsy is not going to ask you for this yet. It may because some products do get categorized down to where they have the full uh, 10 digits on here, but it doesn't necessarily matter. So we have this, well, I'll copy that, and then we're gonna move over here. And you're not gonna type the number Can in on this one. increase the screen size? This one's kind of tiny. I don't tiny. know if that'll, yeah. that's gonna make it hard to use. But type the same thing in here, jewelry. And then what I like to do is they won't be able to see it, but do do a, a find, which you in most browsers you can do control and F and it'll bring up this little window here. They can here. see it. Okay. And then paste your number in there and it's not showing up. There we go. All right, let's try to see if we can get it search. this way. We'll search it directly, okay. So we have the tariff codes and then you can see how it gets bundled down. So we don't need to worry about these other numbers. We only need the first four, but you can see how they get further categorized down. Valued, not Valued over at not over eighteen dollars. So if it's less than eighteen dollars, technically you would add the this on here, but not for Etsy users. Again, not for Etsy users. You only use the first six, and then we'll pop over here, hit start now. Just a oh my lord, there we go. And then we will click that, double check, and you see this this one kind of breaks it down further into categories for you. We got the first one, natural or cultured pearls, precious or semi-precious stones, precious metals, metals clad with precious metal and articles thereof. So you can even see that like any, if you sell any of these things, it's probably gonna fall into this 71, 71 category. Articles of jewelry and parts thereof of precious metal or of clad with precious metal. There's your second There's digit. your second one. So if you fall into this category, these are the first four for all of those. And then you have, see now this is where, this is where stuff gets kind of confusing because you break this down with this 20 here and it comes back down like that. So I would stick with this 11 because that's what these two websites both say. This one breaks it down into the 20, but we know from this one that that's only for things valued at not over $18. So this, I would just verify as many categories as you can, but if two out of three say one thing, go with that, obviously. Yeah, and this is why we said that it's good to use all three of these websites, and I know that that's a big pain in the butt. Just make sure that you're writing these down. Make sure that you're saving them somewhere. That way you don't have to keep doing yes. this. I, if, own, own, owning a business is never easy, and this is one of those things where you're really going to have to put your brain power into it. And it's it sucks, but it, it's one of those things that's going to keep you out of trouble. More than likely, they're trying to keep 
tabs on what's being shipped in and out, make sure people are being taxed what they can, and probably trying to crack down on the drug trade. Yeah. Honestly, this probably has something to do with cracking down on the drug drug counterfeit trade. things. Counter yeah, counterfeit products, which are huge scalpers selling things, reselling things for ridiculous values because they'll they'll say that they sold a product for MSRP at like five hundred dollars, but really they sell it at like eight hundred dollars and when they go to file their taxes, the government's like, Hey, check it out. You made more money than what you said, you're in trouble. Exactly. All right, so All right, let's continue going on with something else here. Give give us something uh cool something thing is different. I can I can switch to our main screen real quick without having to do anything. I like but that. Guys, is this I, I know that it we'll do a couple more examples, but so far is this making sense? Does it feel a lot less scary now that you've kind of seen? Um the thing is as long as you've got these digits close to right they're not going to rip the package open and be like, hmm, well, actually, you know, they're, they're just going to give this a quick glance. You want it to be as accurate as possible, but if you like your last two digits are just oh so slightly off, it's probably not going to cause huge Just do issues. whatever you can get to be the most accurate. Exactly. Like with this one, this one said uh, two zero on the, on the uh, commodity code one here, but we know for a fact that that one means something different. So these two said it was one thing and this one said it was another but the first four digits were still correct. So go with go with what is the most correct out of the few. Okay, so the first one that we had actually had was from Infobook that just said gemstones. So I'm assuming that you're selling like healing stones or, or whatever, religious stuff. So we'll just type in gemstone. Gemstone, unworked, sawn, or roughly shaped. So we'll just assume that you're selling raw gemstones. Holy moly. Oh, here we go assumed characteristics so you need to make sure that you're opening these two okay so known characteristics uh unworked sawn or roughly shaped or other assumed item and these you got to read all the way through before you start trying to make decisions on these is the item other than diamond yes form other than dust or powder yes so it's not a dusted diamond authenticity other, other than, than imitation or imitation. So if you're selling fake gemstones or you're selling gemstones as an appearance for something else or whatever, like if you're selling... Um, fake diamonds. Fake diamonds, yeah. Um, just the diamond itself, not like if your jewelry contains it. You don't need to worry about that. Um, origin, other than synthetic or reconstructed, synthetic or reconstructed. Market use, other than temporarily strung for convenience of transport, strung, mounted, or set. So, like, if you're selling a string of beads, that right, yeah. So that's it's very specific, and you can you can dumb these categories down. So precious stones seventy one oh three ten unworked or simply sawn or rough shaped, unworked or other, which is the which, same, and you which you don't really need to worry about that because that's those last four codes. So we know that we need seventy one oh three ten. Come over here, seventy one oh three ten. 710310 unworked or simply sawn or roughly shaped. And if you need to if you need to categorize, you can go up here and just look at the the main category for it. Precious stones other than diamonds and semi-precious stones, whether or not worked or graded, not strung, mounted or set, unprecious precious stones other than diamonds and semi-precious stones temporarily strung for convenience of transport. Unworked other doesn't matter. These these six digits that you need. Is that making sense? I hope that's making sense for everybody. Let's let's do another one that isn't like jewelry related. Type that one into uh into the UK one real quick just to see just what it Just to see what it does, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I hate all UK websites. <laughs> Go off. And this one on your upstairs computer asks you for cookies every time you refresh the screen. And with this one, don't hit that and then hit enter. You really do need to click on the thing below because it does that. All right, looks the same. 710310. 710310. All the same, yo. Okay. All right, now let's pick one again that's not like stones or jewelry. All right, so let's do, let's just pick out a random one. Wooden boxes that are inlaid with brass and one or two have copper instead of brass and they're the same codes. So let's let's just, this it's one of those things where you might have to do a little bit of research. So I'm just gonna start with box. Well, put maybe wood box. I'm just gonna start with box. Okay. Because anytime I try to delve it down, box is a part of aircraft, animal, land, vehicle, manufactured article. Items used to contain, store, and transport products. Furniture. All right. Furniture, footwear, headgear, garment. Article for use at home, work, or school. 
cookware, eyewear, gas mask, musical instrument, blah, 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 blah. So here's, again, this is one of those things you might have to try a couple of different times. I'm going to assume it's probably furniture, table, cabinet, other. That's probably not it. Okay. I don't think so. Wood box. There we go. Items, oh, well, I guess we could have just. <clears throat> Items used to contain. Okay, so we need to go up here. Condition other than antique. So Wait, if you're you're going, selling, so you're going really fast. Yeah, they can see it. Condition other than antique. If you're selling antique stuff, antique boxes, you'd obviously have to select antique. Whether or not it's magnetic, whether or not it's considered a toy. Magnetic is important if you're selling wooden boxes because some of them like have the magnet that holds them shut. I don't I don't know if that's particularly what you want though. I'm sure they do that. The, I'm sure they include that because it probably messes with the machines and stuff. It does. Way. We we will test it, but I'm assuming this is literally just made for magnetics, magnetics, things that are made to be magnets, but we will test it. Whether or not it's a toy, so if you sell like the little boxes that open up and have the little ballerina dancers, I don't know what those are called. That would probably be categorized under toy. Uh, surface plating material. Includes state of plating, interlacing of processes, straw, osier, willow, bamboos, rattans, rushes, reeds, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can read through that. Sheeting material, other, and use other than for containing tea. So if, it's, if you're selling a box, tea. if you're selling tea boxes. That's cool. Uh, usage, other than compressed gas or liquefied gas. I really hope you're not using a wood box for that. Um, composition, insulating mineral material, pearl. Precious or semi-precious stone or other. We're going to assume other because it's not out of that. Specifically designated and equipped for carriage by one or more modes of transport or other. Manufactured article is other than furniture. Okay. Used to contain, store, and transfer. I'm going to go down to the bottom. And transfer products. Fitting. Other than mechanical or thermal equipment. <laughs> See, these are really weird because these also have to be classified for, like, government, military organizations that ship things. So this is going to have every category of thing. All right, composition, bamboo, wood, or other material. I would go with, and again, not legal advice. If you're selling a box that has, like, metal printed on the outside of it, go with whatever the box is mostly made out of. If it's 99% wood, it's wood. Go with wood. If it's plated, fine. End use, packing of goods, Cooper's trade. I don't know what Cooper's trade is, but I'm assuming he's a nice guy. We'll go with other. All right. Okay. 4420 is our main. Wood, marquetry, and inlaid wood, caskets and cases for jewelry or cutlery, uh -huh. or similar articles of wood. Statuettes and other ornaments of wood. Wooden, wooden articles uh, of furniture not falling within chapter 94. Other. So we have 90. Jewelry boxes, silverware chests, cigar and cigarette boxes, microscope cases, tool or utensil cases, or similar boxes, cases, and chests, all foregoing of wood. So with your particular case, I would probably go with that. You want to double check it in the... I will I will double check it in the other ones. Again, like I said, some of these are complicated. 40... Some of these really do get kind of complicated. 4420.90. <laughs> right. Other jewelry boxes, silverware chests, blah, 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 blah. And then, yeah, so that's correct here. And then we would get down into breaking it down, not lined with textile fabrics. See, like with yours being lined with metal on the outside or whatever, I don't. it's probably going to fall into one of these separate end categories that aren't going to matter because Etsy doesn't go that far. Let's type it into this one. Wait for it to load and click the thing. 4420, wood marquetry and inlaid. So inlaid wood containers, blah, 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 blah. And then this one just says other... 44, 20, 90. We're good. All right. All right. Let's do a couple more. I'm trying to cover like some different styles of products. So you kind of get the idea of like how to, how to do this. Don't, oh, don't overthink it. That's how you'll frustrate yourself. Let's see tariff code for gift box for a birthday. That would have to know what it's made out of, like all of that different information. Tariff. I already told you tariff code for gemstone. Yeah. You're way out there though. Yeah, I know. I'm just I'm going through it. I'm trying to find stuff that's different enough from stuff that I've already done. Yeah, it's based on materials more than it is the item most of the time. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, crystal jewelry is basically glass. Glass is glass. Crystal is crystal. Depending on if it's real crystal. If it's real crystal or if it's 
glass that people call crystal. Yeah. You kind of got to be honest. Like, even if you, even if you like take your product very seriously, if your product is one thing on a literal scientific sense, then that is what the product needs to be classified as, yeah. not what you consider it to be. Uh, we already did that. Uh, yeah, you're way up at the beginning. I know, baby. I'm, I am trying to cover stuff that's different. Okay. We have done jewelry, gemstones, and boxes. I'm trying to find something that isn't one of those things or close enough like that. Let's see. Cookie cutters. <sighs> Do my polymer cookie cutters. Okay. PLA. Cookie PLA cutters. polymer cookie cutters. Let's just do PLA. See if that has it. No. Polymer. Cookie cutter is probably going to do it as metal. Here's what we know about your cookie cutter. Let's see. Not magnetic, not toy. Surface? No. Plating material. Nope. Uh, value, decorative or ornamental? No. Kitchen, Kitchen hand handheld tool, composition. It's not going to be made out of any of those things. Composition, it's going to probably be made. Oh, no, what is, what is polymer. Hers? Polymer. Plastics. Is there any other? Materials which have been capable either at the moment of. Yes, yeah, so you're going to. This is one of those things where you're going to have to know your material. Leather, fur, skin, paper, pulp, textile material. So it's gonna it's gonna fall under plastics, unless you were selling it made out of like aluminum, then it would be a base metal, right? Okay. So thirty nine twenty four is gonna be our base. Tableware, kitchenware, other household articles, and hygienic or toilet articles of plastics. Nursing nipples and finger cots. Yeah. So tableware, gross. tableware, and <laughs> gross. <laughs> Nipples are growth. Okay, so it's not going to fall under tableware. Or, well, it actually might. And then let's look at what 90 is. Other. So it's not that. Curtains and drapes. Valances. Yeah. No. Other. So we would be fall under this. 39, 24, 10. If you sell tableware, kitchenware, other household articles, and hygienic or toilet articles of plastics and also fall into the category tableware and kitchenware, that's your code. But it's also got this little bad boy here. So this probably has multiple multiple things that this could be. Let's do a double okay. check. Okay. So these, again, this is, yeah, it does. It has a ton of them. So the only ones that we care about are the first six, this salt, pepper, mustard shakers, dispensers, and similar dispensers. This is another way you can check if your product falls under this. Like, does your product also fall into one of these other things? Plates, cups, saucers, soup bowls, cereal bowls, sugar bowls, creamers, gravy boats, serving dishes and platters, trays, other so yours would technically be this with the 40 on the end of it. Other. Okay, let's check here. Triple check, because this one's always got weird stuff that it likes to do. Ours was 10. Other. And the cool thing about this one, too, if you can actually figure it out, you can see what your, your country duties and your VAT taxes are going to be on these. All right. Let's scroll down to the bottom, make sure there's no naughty naysayers. That, I'm not sure. Our PLA is made of cornstarch. It's compostable. Okay. Oh. So let's go into composition. Paper, pulp, cardboard, cellul cellulose. Or webs of cellulose fibers. That one, that one I'm not technically, you might have to do a little bit more research on that. If it's compostable. It's probably going to f no no because it's not it's not vegetable a cellulose material. Favorite. Vegetable material. Ah, there you go. All right, bamboo, wood, non-wood, woody material, hard seed, coconut shell, or other vegetable carving materials, natural gum or natural resin. So, U is involved. The codes are which POD is in the UK? Corn starch. So corn. Corn starch. I'm assuming it's probably going to fall under other because it's not a woody material. It's not a carving material. Vegetable or mineral carving material means hard seeds, pulps, hulls, and nuts. Similar vegetables materials used for carving, corozo and torn, amber, meerschaum, agglomated amber. Yes, yeah, so a hard, hard material. So it's probably not going to fall under that. It, it, it's either going to be this one or other. I'd say other is probably going to be the safe ones. Panels, boards, tiles, blocks, similar article, wood fiber, straw, shavings, carvings, chips, particles, sawdust, other waste, wood, agglomerate, cement, plastics, mineral binders. Mineral binders. I'm not to I'm not totally sure. Maria said it's other. I'm assuming that that's probably going to be it. So let's let's just double check and see. Oh, 
Let's just, let's just check Looks out 6808. Yeah, it's it's exactly the same. I feel like the other one was more. The other one was significantly more accurate because it described what it was. Yeah. This seems like it is a material specifically. Yeah, I. On, I would probably still honestly go. Let's let's um. I feel like I would go with the plastics, even though it's not. Let me. I don't Google things on here. It's PLA, right? Is what she said. Yeah. Let's let's do a a, a double check. PLA considered a plastic. We're all learning things today. Because plastic doesn't necessarily signify. It is PLA is a plastic filament material in 3D printing. It is polyacetic acid widely used. It does not comply with whatever. So it is considered a plastic. So. So go with, the, go with the first one. All right, cool. Somebody had said a wool scarf. Wool scarf. Wool scarf. So what I would do, I wouldn't even throw wool in there. I I would. I wouldn't. Do do base first, and if you can't find what you're looking for, not a toy. Other than gut, bladder, tendon. Yeah, Ugh. because meats and stuff have to be shipped too. As a scarf. Doesn't they're. They've, they've got one category that they're looking under for this. My brand new gut bladder scarf. Ooh. End use. Four animals. I really... <laughs> dog has scarf for your dog. I take the wool off, and then I make a scarf, and I put it back on. <laughs> Festive or carnival or other occasions. All right. Other special features. Lined with fur skin. So this is where, like, if you're making if you're making products like coats and stuff like that with fur skin on the outside, lined with fur skin, lined with artificial fur with artificial fur on the outside. This is a scarf, so it's not lined with anything. Composition, insulating mineral material, blah, 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 blah. So we have other composition. Artificial fur, fur skin. Let's see. Where's they have actual animal animal carving materials? Leather, rubber, plastics, fur skin. I'm assuming it's probably this. other. Oop. Other than to raw fur skins of heading, apply to hides or skins. So it's not. It's so no. It's not that at all. Hmm. Hmm. Can you type wool scarf into the top just yeah. to see if it maybe helps? There we go. Okay. Here we go. Do 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 do. Oh. All right. So length, we'll assume that. Less than sixty centimeters. So I'm assuming that this, because it's it textile. already knows this, so it's a textile material, knitted or crocheted. We'll just do knitted. Just assume. We'll just it. we'll just assume it's a knitted scarf. Uh, is it for babies? Probably not. Or is it not for babies? Other. Okay. 61, 17, 10, shawls, scarves, mufflers, mantillas, veils, and the like. Other made-up clothing accessories, knitted or crocheted. Knitted or crocheted parts of garments or and or of clothing accessories. I, I love that it said other made-up. It's just made-up. They don't actually exist. That sounds like a European term. It's Ma made-up of. Made-up clothing right. accessories. 61, 17, 10, shawl, scarves, mufflers, mantillas, veils, and the like. And see what it's made out of would be the extra digits that you're not actually using. So you would literally just be using these. Mufflers. Mufflers, yeah. What are, muff what are mufflers? It's a scarf that goes around your mouth. Mufflers. Is that what that's shuts called? shuts you up, yeah. It shuts you up. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, if you if you do for any other reason, if you're selling on your own website or whatever and you have to provide the full numbers, then you would use these extra. Like, if you're using artificial wool, then you'd have the 20 and then the 00, zero suffix on the end. Easy enough. Back. All Paste. right. Let's see. See if it does it here. Yeah. 61.17.10. Other accessories. 61.17.80. Why is that falling under 80? Oh, it's anything other. Anything other than. Yeah, so 10, and then this is where you get your others. Cool. All right. Next. Most of my... I thought mufflers were big fluffy things you put your hands into. Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, PLA is polylactic acid. Yeah, I looked up uh, what it was and what the classification was, and it is considered a plastic, a type of plastic. 
Well, you didn't finish. You started reading that comment. Oh, which one? That one. Most of my products are made with mixed materials, primarily made with cardstock, wooden dowels, acrylic sticks, and or satin ribbon twine. So what is the actual product? Yeah. Tell us what the product is. Please listen to Starlet. Starlet? Starlet. Her name's Starla. <laughs> About what? About, am wait. I am I getting reamed? <laughs> <laughs> what am I not listening to? Primarily made with cardstock, wooden dowels, acrylic sticks. Yeah. So what's what's the actual product? Because that one's not, because it's made of a bunch of different things. You might have to do what the actual product is. I think I found the po the code for posters, prints. If anyone needs it or wants to confirm it, let's you know, here I'll double check it. Posters and prints. Let's do, let's double check it. Let's just throw it into this one. Original engravings, prints, and lithographs framed or not framed. Could be. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know if I can search the actual numbers in here. Yeah, you can. Original engravings, prints, and lithographs. Let's just, let's do poster. Poster. She said wolf scarf first. We did wolf scarf. We did wolf scarf. I think you're just behind. Oh, no, they're saying you should have listened to me because I originally said wool scarf. And okay, so here's the reason that I didn't and why, like, I do things the way that I do it is because I've spent more time doing this. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, it's better to start basic and work your way up. If you start at the most advanced thing and can't find what you get or you end up with a wrong number, then you can end up getting in trouble. So it's best to start at the bottom and work your way up. Yeah. Okay. So we just put poster in here condition not antique not magnetic not toy not made out of animal material convert uh commercial advertising or not other pictures designs nope. and photographs poster posters pictures and designs and photographs posters 49 11 91 Unless it's like, it might be different if it's like a card stock poster printed over 20 years at a time of yeah, pictures, designs, and photographs. It's it's this that all that matters. Yeah. And then here's all your different categories for specifics. Printed 20 years at a time of importation. Printed not over 20 years. Suitable for use. Blah, 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 blah. And the lithographs, that's the same That's the same code. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Next. Let's see. A dice bag. Dice bag. Drawstring bag made of polar fleece and some plastic beads on the drawstring. So I don't think they'll care about the drawstrings. No, polar probably not. fleece. Fleece. Bag. Bag. I don't think that's gonna. Handbag, shopping bag, traveling bag, or several other bags. Okay. Packing of goods, carrying indoor. Packing of goods, maybe. No, I don't huh? think so. You because know, you're not packing. You're something. right. You're right. Textile material. I guess the type of fleece matters, probably as well, whether or not it's real fleece. Or was it? What did they call it? What kind of fleece was it? It was, um. No, I'm never. Polar fleece. Polar fleece. What is polar fleece? <laughs> We're <laughs> ignorant of these things. That's You have to do your research. You have and, to, That's like with yours. If you don't understand, like, what your product is yeah and you're gonna have problems and this is what you're gonna have to do when you're researching you know this is something that you guys should do over the re weekend just go through all of your products and figure out these codes ahead of time that way you don't have to do it when you're shipping orders i would rather have them all okay it's synthetic okay i would rather have them all together like in a trello card and ready to go because, yeah, this is a lot of work, and even Mark and I are getting stumped. So it would be way better if you did this oh. ahead of time. Yes. Right. Okay. So it's a, it is a synthetic material. I wouldn't Artificial I don't think fur. it would fall under any imitation of fur skin consisting of wool, hair, or fibers gummed or sewn onto leather, woven, or fabric. Mm. Maybe just textile material. I think, I think you'd probably be safest under textiles. So yeah. We'll just leave it. Other bags and use. I'm gonna say other, because we'll get the main number. We'll search it by number. Cords okay. and tassels. Hmm. Surgical drapes, national flags. See, these still all fall under other. Let me try carrying, carrying indoor. indoor. Let's, let's see if it changes it. Cords it's still it's still the same category. Okay. 
And then if what if we change it to packing of goods? I mean, you might consider that packing of goods. It's still the same. Okay. It's still exactly the same, so it doesn't matter. So let's take that over to 6307. Let's just do 6307, and then we'll go down from there. All right. All right. Other made-up articles, including dress patterns... So ours was 90 that we're looking for, life jackets and life belts. See, this is this is a good way to do it. Like, we know the base category. We know that we're at least falling into made-up articles, including dress patterns. So we'll just go through life jackets and life belts, other labels of cotton cords and tassels. If you're selling cords and stuff, there you go, made out of cotton or other. Uh, corset lacings. See, now we're into the 90s. Of fabric on a base of paper covered or lined with paper, like perennial towels or other... Drapes, toys for pets, textile materials, wall banners, man-made fibers, other surgical towels, or other. So regardless, it would probably fall into this. I'm going to do a little bit more. If you have mixed media jewelry like silver, gold, filled leather, various gemstones, all in one product, how in the world would you get the exact code? I'll, I'll go back into that here in a minute. I want to continue looking for this bag. Let's do polar police bag let's try this it's not a handbag trunk suitcases vanity cases attache cases I love how they just put attach it should be attached cases school satchels spectacle cases binocular camera musical instrument gun cases holsters similar containers traveling bags insulated food or beverage bags toiletry bags knapsacks backpacks handbags shopping bags wallets purses map cases see this one sounds like it'd probably be more yeah accurate. sports bags bottle cases jewelry boxes powder cases cutlery cases and similar containers they're composed of leather sh plastic or textile materials vulcanized fiber or of paperboard wholly or covered in such materials or with paper that makes the most sense Other. to me and then yeah 420292. And it's almost the same as what we just No, it's not. No, it's not. It's, it's way far it's off. It's completely different. Yeah, see it's it, this is why I said that it's good to like do research and try to do it in multiple different ways because you can end up with completely different answers for different things. And I think like she said earlier, the safest bet is to go with whatever is the most accurate or most closely represents your product if you come up with five different codes and one of them sounds like really close and the other ones are kind of eh, go with the one that sounds the closest that's the least that's the one that's going to not get you in trouble yeah and, most likely and the thing is i mean they're just going to glance at these to get an idea of what it they're not going to bust open the package to look at the thing and and make sure like oh actually you're two digits off they're yeah. not going to do that i said polar fleece is usually polyester and that's okay. why you would be looking here other so it wouldn't it wouldn't even matter 420292 these other end codes don't matter it's still a textile a man-made fiber or other and uh, the, the that's that's the kind of cool thing about the way that Etsy's doing it, not having to do these end numbers, because it would be a whole lot more confusing if you were having to figure out like which of all these numbers you had to use. But you only need to use the first six on Etsy as of right now. Okay, mixed media jewelry like silver, gold filled, leather, various gemstones, all in one. Okay, so I don't have an exact answer for you. More than likely, it's going to be whatever the material is mostly composed of. So, like, if you're selling jewelry, start with that. So Can we'll... you search mixed media jewelry and see if... Yeah, sure. Media might not be the word that we want. Oh. Jewelry. Okay. See, this? it's telling you to dumb it down to jewelry. So, say it's other than antique, it's not magnetic, it's not a toy... And obviously, it's not made out of animal products. We'll assume that it's not a bangle. Other. Let's say that it's. Let's say that it's made out of. of Base uh, metals, because we already did precious. Yeah. Let's say it's made out of Bess. Uh, cuff link, dress stud, other. Imitation jewelry of base metal, whether or not plated with precious metal, other. See, I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to matter that you've got all these different things. If the majority of the product is made out of a base metal or out of a precious metal, that's probably what's going to matter. I, th I think that like her questions, like, what if it is equal parts base metal and equal parts leather? I, I doubt your product is fifty-fifty. 
Right. Like, are you are you selling a necklace and the pendant is the part of the necklace, or are you selling a necklace with a pendant and the neck part is the... Most of the time, it's going to be the pendant or the main display, thing of display. What you put on it isn't... I don't think is going to matter. I don't think they're going to care that much. Yeah, if you sold, like a, like, a leather bracelet and it had a couple metal charms on it, then I would go with leather. If it is a mostly metal bracelet and it has a tiny bit of leather like a little leather tassel then i would put it as yeah. metal like here this falls into other rope curb cable chain and other similar articles producing continuous lengths all that foregoing blah 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 valued at not over 33 cents per meter so we're looking at chains and stuff right now religious articles purely devotional character blah 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 blah, blah or other and yours would fall into other wouldn't leather be considered an animal product if it's real leather? Yeah. I We could, I mean, th and that was an option when you said not an animal product in the last search. So let's go. No, it wasn't. Gut, bladder, or tendon, mineral wax, vegetable, or animal wax, modeling paste, or stearin. No, oh, okay. It's not. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't. I'd say 50-50 on the product. Then you're just going to have to pick one or the other. I mean, yeah. re realistically, like... If, if it's 50-50, let's just do that again. Jewelry. Why don't you type in leather jewelry and see it's if It's not it... composed of leather. Oh, okay. I'm assuming it's, it's like she's saying that it's 50-50 on a product. All right. Other. And, it, like, it, see, this is the thing. It's it's hard to tell exactly. You're gonna you're gonna have to pick one or the other, and if you can't decide on one or the other, you're probably just gonna have to get with a legal professional and actually have them figure out what you're gonna do. Like if we went with precious metal, let's say that it's not silver. Either way, doesn't matter. Still gonna fall under the seventy one thirteen nineteen. Yeah. All, all the all the other subcategories like we check in the other ones that make up these numbers, they don't matter. They don't matter because you don't have to put them in. If it's got if it's Ugh. made of real leather. I would say that that a country would be more concerned with leather than they would be concerned with metal, because I would say that an animal Pre product precious would... precious metals are trade items and they are usually on stock markets oh. and things like that. So I disagree with that wholly and entirely. Yeah, you're right. See, like it doesn't even like pass this all this other stuff that we could look at. Like you should obviously double check. Like we're looking at. Uh, of, of other precious metals, whether or not plated or clad. Obviously, we're not selling ropes, necklaces, and chains of gold. Other. 71, 13, 19, 0, 0. All right. Ropes, mixed links, others, clasps and parts. Other, other of ISO standard platinum. So if you had platinum, you would have all these extra numbers. But we don't need to worry about that because we're here. And then we literally just go one more down and we're at our base metals. Which one was that? 20. And then we're getting into goldsmiths or silversmiths wares, blah, blah, blah. Knives, Knives. or silver handers. Pretty like it. it just keeps going on. You know what I mean? And they have done their best. I know this sounds super confusing. They have done their best to make this as complicated and difficult as possible <laughs> because it's a government thing, right? Everything government related has to be entirely ridiculous. And that's that's what they've done. Fortunately, it wasn't made by the U.S., so it's not worse than it is. <laughs> but, but yeah, actually, the U.S. Census Bureau is the easiest. Yeah, it's the to easiest use. one to use. Let's uh, let's go in here and Someone find maybe said like one more perfume oil. She's trouble looking okay. for. Yeah, we haven't done any like like beauty projects, hyg hygiene products. It's probably gonna fall under a hygiene product. Per wrong, wrong screen. Perfume, no alcohol. All right, so perfume. Let's start with perfume. Perfume. Perfumes and toilet waters. Try to add the word oil after it and see if it stays the same. 3303 citrus fruit, other essential oil. So you'll. Essential oil, fat oil, wax, and margarine, mineral fuels, mineral oils, by tuminous substances and mineral waxes. We'll say essential oil. We'll say not. Okay, so. <laughs> We said it's not a citrus fruit. Is it peppermint, mint, or other? We'll say that it's none of those. So it's either going to be falling Ooh. under perfume or it's going to fall under I think essential the, oil. I think the numbers were exactly the same, though. So we got here, and obviously the end numbers don't even matter. So here's our category, but 
germanium, jasmine, lavender, lavender, vetiver, cedar. Yeah, yeah, you see it. And I then others fall into here. So let's let's take this off of here. Let's just do perfume. What was the original? Oh yeah, because it's it just put it in essential oil. So there you go. If you're doing essential oils, so if we're doing perfumes, it's literally just this thirty three oh three zero zero. So it's gonna. You'll just have to decide for yourself if it falls. If if there are essential oils in it, then list it as that. There if you go. not, there you go. Perfumes no. not containing alcohol. Floral or floral waters, other. And then containing alcohol would have the extra numbers on the end, but you don't need to worry about that. So if you sell perfumes or toilet waters, there you go. This makes me think of the border security shows that shows packages of officers opening stuff up if it looks suspicious or a dog sniffs of something in the package. Yeah, we open alarmingly, like with our customs, we open a pretty alarmingly low amount of packages that come into the United States, believe it or not. We definitely have ordered things online that have been obviously opened. Oh, yeah, I've had things opened and had stuff straight up just missing out of the package that have come from customs that they've taken for one reason or another. I, I, I ordered, know. remember in California when I ordered the bulk um, chains, the bronze costume chains from DH Gate, and it arrived... And there was only one chain in the box, and we ordered a hundred chains. Yep. Do you remember that? Yep. They, they were... had taken it out and like just put one chain back. Yeah. For... They get one. They one for you. Like no, actually, I right. ordered a hundred. Let's look and see if there's anything else that we can find in here. I wish I could see viewer count to see how interesting these are. I'm assuming this is a this is a hot topic, and my eyes are really this blue. <laughs> All right. What about military name tape keychains? I think that's going to fall. That'll fall under the fabric that it's made from. And, uh, or, mil I mean, you could do necklace and then made out of whatever material, cotton, whatever. Keychains. Yeah, I think it would probably fall under the polyester. I believe that your guys' uniforms were. That's an interesting Polyester. One. Leather bird harness. I'm going to do animal harness. Animal harness. harness. Okay. Articles. Articles and equipment used for animals. Not magnetic, not antique, not a toy. Not made out of a plating material. Includes straw, blah, 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 blah. Wood, vegetable. Yeah, no. Other articles and equipment used for animals. Saddlery, harnesses. Including knee pads, muscles, saddle cloths, saddle bags, dog coats, and the like of any material. Dog leashes, blah, 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 dog equipment. Let me go over here. Saddlery, yeah. That's probably it. I can I can try to be more specific and do bird harness. But it's probably just going to put it under harness. harness. Yeah, so it's, see, they're trying to... Narrow your search for you. What about gift sets from paper boxes, including bath bombs, wine tumblers, mixed Ooh. products in a paper box? See, that's really hard. Gift box. Yeah. Or gift package. Gift basket. Mm. Gift basket. Basket. The items are classifying. Oh, a set. A complex item or set, which normally requires for each component to be classified separately. Alternatively, you may request a binding classification ruling for your complex item from customs in the country of import. Oh, so if you're selling a like a mixed box of stuff, you're going to have to individually classify the items that are going into it. Yeah. Or you can request a specific number from that. That's going to be too complicated. I would just classify each individual item. You're going to have to fill out a form for each individual thing going into it. And that I'm, that might be the case for those people who said that they make a bracelet that's 50-50 components. No, because it's one specific item made out oh, of multiple things. This is this a is set. a box full of multiple different things. Got that's it. Not, that's not how that's going to be. Now, if you are selling like some big gaudy piece of jewelry, maybe it would be like if you have like a big necklace that's got like yes. three rubies and a diamond and like two sapphires and a few emeralds and it's made out of gold but the chain is made out of pure silver like yeah you might want to classify all those individual things but like chances are you're not selling that so right if you're but if you're you are selling something that's like a ten thousand dollar necklace made out of 15 different precious metals and, and gemstones just be clear vinyl stickers I we did stickers we yesterday we did let's do sticker decal yeah. printed matter Printed or manufactured flat product. Let's just do a decal. Uh, vitrifiable. No. 
Do you remember what that meant, vitrifiable? Uh, something about, like, burning things in. I can't remember. Yeah. If it's, like, a wall decal, then it wouldn't fall under that. I think it's, like, a burned, a burned-in type design. Vitrifiable. Capable of being vitrified or converted into glass by heat uh -uh. and fusion. Flint is vitrifiable. So that's not going to be it. Decals except toys. And we can try a couple of different things here because this one was a little bit confusing. Other, so we're still in the 4908. So let's Transfers. go up to 49. Transfers, decalomania. So those are actual decals. And then we can go printer, illustrated postcards, printed cards, bearing personal greetings, messages, or Your announcements, whether or not illustrated. I know I'm going down. Oh, postcards, okay. others, calendars, other printed matter, including printed photographs and pictures. Trade advertising materials, pictures, designs, and photographs printed over. Okay, so yeah. Decals is most likely going to be. Okay, let's go to vinyl sticker. Decal. That, isn't that what I just selected? Yeah. Yes, it is. You're right. It's going to give you the All same. Right, so printed matter. Let's just look around and see what... Forty nine eleven ninety nine, including printed pictures and photographs. I think stickers fall under decals because they're stickers. Well, that's all the way at the bottom of the list. International customs forms, other printed on paper or in whole by a lithographic process, other. So this one, I, if I were doing it, I would do it under the decal one that we first did. Yeah, that made Let's them. Let's do semi semi manufactured cellular. I don't know. We'll find out. Combined with non plastic materials. Let's just do other plasticizer percentage. I don't think this is going to be. Yeah, that's not going to be us. <laughs> no! Let's just do sticker again. Decal. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll just stick with decal, non vitrifiable. I, I would probably just go with this one if you're doing stickers, to be totally honest with you. All right, I got 3926 for acrylic keychains. Let's let's actually just look at the other articles of plastic. Articles of apparel or clothing accessory including gloves, mittens and mitts. <laughs> Douchebag. Ice bags, enema bag. Definitely not an enema bag. Imitation gemstones. Yeah, so if you're making imitation gemstones out of acrylic. Clothespins, pneumatic mattresses. Oh boy, this one gets spicy. I think you're I think you're close. Type in key ring. It's not a key ring, it's an acrylic keychain. Yeah, but keychain usually alright. Keychain. Key Other than magnetic, not a toy. Other type. It's not considered jewelry, right? Composition. Acrylic is plastic. Yep, acrylic is definitely plastic. What did she say she got? 3926. But worry, it's not specific enough. See, that's the thing, is it's it doesn't really need to be specific enough because literally all of these fall under the same subcategory. The ninety. All this stuff at the end doesn't matter. And if you're worried that it's not specific enough, this covers all of these things. All of these different things. So don't be don't be too worried about it not being specific enough. Yeah, decals make sense. Also a keyword I could use in my listings. Yeah, it very well could be. Uh, I have the same question. Okay. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're getting through pretty much all. all per, any other, any other like categories of things that we haven't searched yet that anybody wants us to search for, or any last minute questions? We'll we'll hang out for maybe like ten minutes more because I know it's it's yeah. way later than we normally host these streams. Um, kind of, I know it's kind of a boring stream, and you've had to have to uh, listen to my voice the whole time, but. He's, he's better at looking these things up than I am. I'm good at doing research. Yeah. This is not my area of expertise. Chess sets. We would have to know what they are made of. Wooden. Wooden. Eastern inspiration. Wooden chess sets. 
then it, I wouldn't even search chess sets. I, I mean, you could try it. I mean, we did wood boxes earlier. It's going to be almost the exact same thing. It probably is. Chess set. Chess. Um... Chess, checkers, parcheesi, backgame, and other games played on boards of a special design, all foregoing games and parts thereof, including the boards, mahjong, dominoes, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. No. So there you go. There you go. 95, 04, 90. That one was easy. Just Let's chess. Let's do faux fur headbands. Headband. Clothing accessory? Uh, clothing accessory. Faux fur. Artificial fur. There you go. That was another easy one. Boop. Hair slides, hair pins, curling pins, blah, 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 blah. Hair combs, hair slides, and the like. Other. Yeah. Bang them. Bang them out. Sorry, they are magnetic. You don't need to really worry about that unless the whole thing is like a magnet. I mean, you can Actually, let's, yeah, let's just do that. Let's chess. just do chess. Magnetic property. Because the thing is, you throw these on here, and see now it says composition, metal, other... Yeah, see, electromagnets, permanent magnets, so you don't want that. Don't worry about the ma The magnet part is to make sure that you're not shipping something that's going to destroy computers if they're shipped together. Bamboo fabric or hemp anything. Bamboo fabric. Fabric. Non-woven tapestry, tire or cord, other than antique, yarn or strip. Impregnated, coated, covered or sheathed with plastics. Blah, 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 blah. We need... Let's say or hemp anything not scrap other than quilted I don't think it's gonna be any of those let's just start with this and let's say non-woven other you'd have to know the yeah I'd have to know the weight we'll just we'll just pick, pick a, a random, random one, one. Yeah, so that one you're gonna have to just go in and like figure out specifically what categories. We won't we won't do that one for right now, but figure out what categories everything falls under. Constituents. Oh, there we go. Paper yarn stripper, artificial straw yarn. Blah 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 blah. Composition other treatment other. You said it's clothing items. Like bamboo clothing. If it's a clothing, okay. if it's already made, like if it's a clothing item and you're not just selling the fabric, you'll need to search by the uh, article because it would be categorized as a garment and then you would fill it out as the material. I just, I cannot wait till the SJW crowd destroys this because your choices are men or boys, babies or other. I, I'm an other. <laughs> you're an other. I'm an other. Let's go men or boys and then here you go. What percent cotton? What percent man-made fiber? Let's just say it's like 50% cotton. And we'll say it's like 20% polyester and then 30% bamboo. Bamboo underwear are really popular right now. Men's or boys shirts. Dress shirts or other. There you go. Men's shirts. Now let's change it. Let's say that it's, it's for babies. And it's 80% cotton, 20% bamboo. Babies, garments, and clothing accessories. Ding. All right. I sell women's tennis dresses made from polyester fabric. So. Dresses? Dress. Dress. Made from polyester fabric. Are they, I'm assuming they're 100% polyester. They're not knitted or crocheted. Other. Okay. So I don't know. Synthetic. Is polyester synthetic? Or I think so polymers whatever we'll just try them both let's just say 100 percent synthetic fiber dresses um synthetic fiber now okay women's girl suits ensemble suit type jackets blazers dresses skirts divided skirts sh oh yeah so divided skirts that would be right that'd be like a dress yeah. let's do athletic i think uh skirt dress and see if it does it so it's still gonna dress fall that. yeah it's not skirt. even skirt skirt mm. that sounds right do 100 percent synthetic fiber 
skirts or divided skirts. I guess it's the same category. Sa- yeah. It's it the is. exact same category. All right. Polyester elastane fabric. Yeah, yeah so it would be it synthetic. Really matter. Synthetic. They want to. They basically want to know if it was, if it's got wool, if it's like animal part, wood yeah, part. Yeah. Right. Ex- exactly. So like, if you're doing these, and you look at all these, and you don't understand what you're reading, that's what you need to be doing research on. Yeah, like, is Google. it? Do, do you make? Especially if you're making it entirely by scratch, or if you're like ordering it from China and then printing on it or whatever. Those are two totally different things. So understand the materials that you're shipping. If you're shipping something you don't understand, you probably shouldn't be shipping it anyway. So if you are if you pull this open and you think that your product falls into the category, just do a little bit of research. Is, you know, is polyester a synthetic fabric? Is polyester, and, and it'll, Google will tell you. Yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah, don't, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Anybody have any last minute questions? We'll go ahead and do this. I gotta get to the gym and then we gotta go pick up our kiddo and we got a busy day. So guys, we're we're sorry that this stream was uh such a pain. For those who joined us a little bit later, <laughs> you missed the beginning. Yeah, it was a little bit of a pain starting up, but that was out of my control. And then and then we were so hyped up after after all of the terribleness happened because the stream wouldn't work and we had to move ship that we uh we might be a little bit more spicy today than we normally are. We're definitely not good at performing. Okay. I'm not good at performing well under pressure. I'm gonna go take a long nap. Um, for those who would like to meet us in person, will likely be in a much better mood. Uh, August. She will. <laughs> I will. August sixth, Mark has a show at the Bright Side in Dayton, Ohio. We have tickets available for that. I will be. Maybe selling merch, depending on if we ever get that order. Maybe. We'll see. I'll likely be there taking photos. Um, If you guys want to come hang out and stand around and listen to Mark's band play and a couple other really good bands, feel free to message us and we can get you tickets that you can email us at starla at handmadealphaacademy.com. Um, there's some freebies down below. I know I said this last week, but I'm, I'm serious this time. This is the very last week that you'll be able to get yep. my free summer survival guide because it's really, we should be thinking about fall now. Last week we did a fall trends video, so make sure that you go watch that if you haven't already. There's also a bunch of other freebies down below, like my free swipe file series, um, the wholesale cheat sheet that Amber made, and I th- there's something else down there my 2021 marketing calendars, which are gonna become really important starting like now because those are gonna tell you when to prep for the holidays. Um, All three of the websites that we talked about today for the tariff codes are linked down there. Remember, the US Census one is our personal favorite. I believe I put in there like, this is my favorite. Use this one to double check, use this one to triple check. That way you don't get them mixed up. Man, that is low. It is low. And then lastly, guys, For those very few of you who are interested in the sci-fi book that I've been writing, I actually finished it. It's in edit right now. Um, It's probably going to be a little while till it's released, but all the social media is up for it. You can find it on Facebook, Instagram. I've got a website for it. Facebook and Instagram, just search Explore the Channel, or you can go to explorethechannel.com to find my website, and there are some character overviews and a little bit more information about the map and environment there. But hopefully that gets released sometime, maybe in the fall or winter. That's my hope. Very, very different type of book. I'm not a big sci-fi person, and I've never written a... I mean, I've written books before, but I've never actually attempted to publish a book, so... Very, very strange. The stream really helped me feel less stressed about the whole thing. Thank you for continuing, or thank you for dealing with the BS and continuing the stream. Yeah, we try to do what we can. We're trying to get things switched up. We ha- I hate the streaming software that I was using before. Wire Wirecast is a, just a pain in the butt. And I've used Streamlabs for Twitch and usually don't have too many problems. It uh, decided to switch the audio bit rate in Streamlabs between the time before and this time. So everything was set up incorrectly even though i didn't give it permission to do any of that it did it on its own so uh and any questions if not i'm gonna cut it amber um maybe let's make sure that we because we had so many issues this week with the stream i really want to do that live stream but i don't want it to end up like how today did with things not working right so let's let us kind of play with this a little bit and make sure because that's not a stream that I want to end up messing up especially since we're going to be shouting out somebody else 
Uh, I keep trying to get the 2021 marketing calendars emailed to me, but it's not working for some reason. Shoot us an email over at starlethandmadeoffacademy.com if you have and we haven't responded yet. We've been extremely busy, so we will get back to you as soon as we can. Yeah, starla at handmadealphaacademy.com. In the subject line, just put like... I need the marketing calendars. Yeah, because then we'll, then we'll know to sort those. Yeah. All right. We're, we're finally to that point with our YouTube career where we get like five companies <sighs> trying to have us recommend their crap on our live streams every day so we even have some big companies now better help was wanting us to do their thing and yeah we um we're just maybe someday we'll do something but i'm not going to recommend anything that i haven't personally used you yeah. guys know how i am i prefer to recommend things that i that i actually use and if a company wants to pay me to recommend something that i already use that's great nothing that i already use has come across and, and asked me to. And, and a lot of the times it's like stupid stuff that doesn't make sense. Like, hey, try our blender on your cooking show. And it's like, we don't have a cooking show. We, we clearly had, didn't watch our channel. We had one. We'll leave you guys off with a funny story. We had one where a company messaged me with a bunch of lingerie and they wanted me to wear the lingerie on my channel and they would pay me. But they didn't specify that I had to wear the lingerie. They just said, wear the lingerie on your channel. And I was so totally going to accept the lingerie and make Mark wear it on the channel. And I will, too. Because they didn't say I had to wear it. Nope, they just they said didn't. they said someone needed to wear the lingerie on the channel. And so. YouTube won't get us in trouble if I do it. Because then, like, we can just send the whole SJW crowd after them. Well, yeah, because you can wear whatever you want. Exactly. You are a strong, independent, man. strong, independent man who, who can wear whatever. Matter. Who can wear whatever <laughs> you want. If you want to wear pretty pink panties, then I will. You will. I do daily. Um, it may be in the H A A vault. What was what? I my... keep trying to get the twenty twenty one marketing calendars. That was a response. To oh, that. if you're in Handmade Alpha Academy, yeah, it's in the it's in the bonuses vault. Yeah, it's in the resources guide for everybody who's in Handmade Alpha Academy. If I ever offer something for free, it's in the bonuses vault, or it will be. You guys get it first. Everybody in HAA gets the free things first. In fact, there is a freebie in there now that I haven't even released to the general public. So, general public friends. You guys are going to be ex getting something new for fall. Look how majestic. I know. And everybody else, you guys... See, you, you messed up my train of thought. You're fine. HAA students, you guys get the free stuff. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Go into the resources guide and it's in there. It's under, it's under bonus guidance. Oh my God, he's taking a picture of his cat. Yeah, I sure am. They, get to, they didn't get to see him on stream today and he's going on Instagram as soon as the stream's done. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, hopefully next week is a lot less chaotic. Have, have a fantastic weekend, and thank you so much for being patient with us today. And we will see you next week with hopefully a stream that doesn't kick us right in the pants. Yeah, that was, uh, that was rough. We love you guys. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to leave on one more disclaimer since this one had a lot of legal stuff in it. We'll just do the disclaimer one more time. Uh, we're not legal professionals. Please do your own research and don't <laughs> sue me. Uh, this is me saying you can't sue me if you follow just this advice. It is entirely up to you to do your own research. Yes. So we love you guys and we'll see you next week. Bye.